Well, I think a lot of people are familiar with 3D printers, but today we're going to look at some applications for 3D printing. And to learn more, we have Josh from the Victoria Hand Project. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, you're welcome. So, uh, I got this new hand here, and you guys basically much built this from a 3D printer. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so the device you're looking at is called the Victoria Hand. It's a mechanically actuated, low-cost, 3D printed prosthetic uh, for developing countries. Um, it's a great device. It's got some nice features like a rotatable thumb. It's got a very nice wrist unit, which allows it to rotate a full 360 degrees and do flexion extension, um, as well as something called adaptive grass, so it can actually adapt around the object that's gripping. And so who is this like really based for, like uh, something like this? Who would it help out? Because of the low-cost nature, we're aiming for developing countries, uh, and in particular women and children. Um, the hand itself is actually quite small of a device. Um, and just because of the nature, it's made of plastic. So we're looking at things like cooking, um, using it in the offices, uh, using it for um, washing, or just going around town, basically. And so how did, how did you guys come up with this idea? So the hand itself was actually a master's uh, project done by my professor, supervisor, yeah. and he approached me and he says, hey, hey, do you think this can be 3D printed? It's been sitting on the shelves. We want to actually get some use out of it. So I worked on it for about a year, uh, changed the design up so it could be 3D printed, uh, and that's how the kind of original hand got started. And then we got a grant from the Grand Challenge of Canada to make it happen to get into these countries. And so, if you are printing something like this from a hand, how long would it take on a 3D printer? So what we say is with one printer, you, you can do about probably? one full assembly a week. That includes the socket, the harness, the hand, the wrist. And, and do you guys assemble it? We yeah, don't assemble it. The whole idea behind our project is it's like made and manufactured in the local countries. So we will ship the printers over there, they will print all the parts, and they'll assemble it together uh, for the amputees there. And so you would have the design inside the printer so that they, they don't have to start from scratch, I would imagine. Yeah, so we, we, do, the, uh, we do the designs at the Victoria Hand Project, and we develop them, and then we ship the STL files, which is the file format for 3D printing, uh, so that they can print the, the files there. Now, Josh, you mentioned that this is made out of plastic. How much material cost would it be to, to basically put this together? That's a great thing. Material cost is, is almost negligible. For the entire device, material cost with bolts, plastic, everything, you're looking at about $70 to $75. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's really, really cheap. Okay, Josh, I want to try this out. Uh, I see a little cube over there. I'm going to see if I can pick it up over here. I've been kind of playing around with this. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, just going to get my thumb in place. Oh, and look at that. I got this, guys. I got this cube, and then, you know what? Honestly, Josh, I gotta say, it doesn't doesn't take that long to, to get the handle of this. No, it doesn't. The whole idea is that it's easy to use. It's only one cable you have to pull, so anyone who's trying to use the device for the first time, they usually catch on to it pretty quick. Now, if people want to get more information about uh, the Victoria Hand Project, where do they go? Uh, then go to our website at www.victoriahandproject.com. There we have information, videos, pictures, um, and you can just kind of see where we are and what we do. So if you didn't know what 3D printers were all about, well, this is a great application, and you've got some great guys who are doing some cool things for developing countries. Thanks so much, Josh. Yeah, thanks a lot.